As communities become increasingly global, cities need to push the boundaries of three-dimensional architecture by alleviating congestion and freeing up space taken by essential services. Helping develop and nurture a fourth dimension underground is the International Tunneling and Underground Space Association, which in 2017 welcomed Nigeria as its 74th member nation. Rail tunnels form a vital part of global transport projects and 2017 has seen many completed or under construction. In Algeria, the Gantes Tunnel will be the longest in the country, helping to double the track with rectification on the Algiers-Oran line. In Kenya, Africa's second longest railway tunnel is being built using a form of open-face excavation method, which involves full-scale excavation of the tunnel between Nairobi and Naivasha. China continues its progress and engineering milestones. In the Shanxi province, a tunnel is being constructed using the world's first U-shaped EPB machine. A total of 39 tunnels are being constructed along the Beijing to Shenyang railway line, cutting the journey time to less than half. While in England, UK, construction contracts have been awarded for the first phase of HS2. Excavation is expected on 39 kilometers of twin running tunnels. The project will greatly speed up journey times from northern cities to London. Road tunnels are also underway, helping environmental concerns and completion of projects where the only option is to go underground. In Sydney, Australia, the West Connects Highway Tunnel will create about 16 kilometers of new tunnels and include excavation of 5.5 kilometers of three-lane twin tunnels. Norway has a wealth of projects underway from the giant TBM set for the follow line to the 27km subsea Rogfast tunnel link, with depths to 390 metres connecting four cities, including Bergen. In America, there was a successful breakthrough in Seattle for the giant Big Bertha TBM on the Alaskan Way Viaduct project. In Chile, Tunnel Kennedy lies in one of the densest urban areas of Santiago and is part of a group of works designed to enhance the connectivity of the financial and commercial core of this South American city. Of several immersed tube projects advancing in the world where the tunnel sections are constructed off-site, the Mariholm Road Tunnel in Sweden comprises 300-meter-long elements across the Gotha River in Gothenburg. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Fixed Highway Link is a complex sea crossing comprising of three cable stayed bridges and an immersed tube tunnel under the shipping channels of the Pearl River Delta to connect to the mainland of China. The tunnel elements were pre cast in a vast yard on Guishan Island. Of countless metro projects ongoing around the world, Le Grand Paris will create a 205 km orbital network connecting the city suburbs to one another greatly reducing journey times and increasing capacity, making the city's metro system among the largest in the world. In Egypt, Cairo has 16 million inhabitants and the expansion of the highway metro aims to regulate traffic and reduce carbon dioxide emissions. The works on the first stage of the Sofia Metro Line 3 in Bulgaria were launched in 2016 and involved the construction of an 8km section with 8 stations leading to 20 new metro trains operating on the line. In Canada, the Ottawa Light Rail Line Transit Project is the first link in the new multi-billion dollar light rail system, helping almost 1 million residents move more effectively around Canada's national capital. The 33.5 km long Metro Line 3 for the city of Mumbai will include 26 underground stations. A total of 17 TBMs will excavate the running tunnels. Phase 3 of the Delhi Metro is one of the largest urban tunneling projects in the world. A total of 30 TBMs were used to excavate 80 km of running tunnels. As part of the project, the two-level 18-meter-deep ITO Metro Underground Station was constructed directly beneath one of the busiest intersections of Delhi. In Hong Kong, construction expansion is underway on the MTR Rapid Transit Network, strengthening the link between the new territories and Hong Kong Island and using new building information modeling techniques in a 3D geological environment.
A rectangular box jack TBM has been used in Singapore to construct a pedestrian underpass connecting Havelock Station Hull to its entrances beneath a heavily plied road junction. The use of this method is an exciting alternative to conventional cut and cover methods with an estimated 30% improvement in productivity. The Doha Metro is one of the most ambitious projects in the world. The last of 76 breakthroughs of the twin tube running tunnels completed a total of 112 kilometers of segmentally lined infrastructure in just 26 months. Once the third and final phase of the Tehran Metro Line 8 is operational, the line will become Tehran's first express subway and fastest subway route in the city, helping the nation, rich in natural reserves, to develop into an economic hub. Hydropower currently provides 70% of the world's renewable energy, supplying electricity to more than a billion people. It mitigates climate change by offsetting greenhouse gas emissions, decreasing burning of fossil fuels. The Bakhtiari Dam is still under construction within the Zagros Mountains. To divert the river, two tunnels are being constructed at the dam's left abutment. Upon completion, the hydropower project will provide sustainable electricity for more than 225 million people. The Jibe 3 hydroelectric plant on the Omo River will raise Ethiopia's electricity production by 85% and will increase the sale of energy to neighbouring countries, offsetting 4.5 million tonnes of excess greenhouse gas emissions. A total of six hydropower plants have been discreetly built in the remote Fjellan Fjord. With access only possible by sea and helicopter, equipment and facilities were accessed from a barge. In France, the Segeo project is a deep geological disposal facility and will serve as a repository for highly radioactive long-lived wastes generated by the current nuclear power plants in the country. Breakthrough for enabling power supplies was completed on the Southwark to City of London Deep Cable Tunnel, lying 23 to 30 metres below the surface. It links substations from southeast of the Thames across to East London and will deliver essential electricity supplies across the city. As Dubai heads towards its goal of becoming the world's most sustainable city with continued advancements in its transport network, Approval has been given for the first stage of a mega rain and groundwater drainage system, including excavation of two 10.5 kilometer long tunnels, covering 400 square kilometers. In Washington, D.C., the Blue Plains Tunnel is a major component of the Clean Rivers Project, reducing combined sewer overflows into the Anacostia River by 98%. Part of the project are the First Street Tunnel, Northern Boundary Tunnel and the Anacostia River Tunnel, which will intercept existing sewer overflows and divert flow to the tunnel using 30 meter deep shafts. In Mexico City, the Emisor Poniente Tunnel is a crucial new wastewater project that will prevent flooding in urban areas serving over 2 million people. The tunnel, which passes through mountains, across fault zones and beneath urban areas, was a highly complex excavation. In Scotland, the Shield Hall Tunnel is a key part of a five-year programme to improve river water quality and the natural environment. The project is the largest investment in the Greater Glasgow wastewater infrastructure in more than a century. The future of the underground is the key to unlocking growth in cities and beyond. From transport to water and waste water transfer, delivery and power needs, hydro, intercity rail and highway tunnels as well as building unimagined light-filled worlds below. So when you think of the future, looking down is looking up to a brighter, faster, more connected world of our current and future reality.